Imagine one machine, so versatile, so effective, you can burn fat, lose weight, while sculpting and toning your entire body at the same time. One machine so incredible, it transforms from the upright to the recumbent position. One machine so comfortable, you'll actually want to work out. Introducing Slim Cycle, the revolutionary new two-for-one fitness system that delivers a cardio blast workout with a complete upper body sculpting system for a full body workout in one dynamic, comfortable machine. I've lost 10 pounds. I could not recommend a better exercise equipment for anyone. The Slim Cycle is the best investment I've ever made in my health. Comfort level is huge for anybody, especially in the beginning of their conditioning program. The seat is excellent. It's wide with the back rest. It gets you really sit up nice and strong. It gauges your core, so we're sitting in a nice postural position, which is very important when it comes to uh, training. I have recently lost 25 pounds. Health is extremely important to me. With the Slim Cycle, you can do your cardio and you can do your upper body strength in a short amount of time. You do two things on one bike. Even just 10 minutes on the Slim Cycle, I feel good. I feel like I've accomplished something. I know that I'm losing weight. I like that it's a full body workout. I can feel it in my legs. I can feel it in my core. Finally, no more gym. I get a full body workout right at home with one machine. Begin by laying out and organizing all of the parts. The main frame, seat post, rear foot, front foot with rollers, backrest support, seat handles, handlebars, seat, backrest, control panel. You got two washers for seat handles, two screws for seat handles, two screws for the backrest. Small hex key tool, large hex key tool with a screwdriver tool, wrench, pedals, and pedal straps. Loosen the circular knob on the main frame and pull outward to adjust the recline angle to one, the lowest setting. Take both nuts and washers off of the rear foot and place them to the side for now. Install the rear foot into the rear main frame leg. Place the washer onto the screw and screw on the nut. Repeat on the other side. Using the smaller end of the wrench, tighten the nuts onto the screw. Take the front foot with the rollers, remove the nuts and the washers, and place them to the side for now. Install the front foot onto the front main frame leg. Place the washer onto the screw, screw on the nut, and repeat on the other side. Then use the smaller end of the wrench to tighten the nuts onto the screw. Repeat on the other side. Remove the nuts and the washers off of the seat cushion and place them to the side. Fit the seat post onto the seat cushion screws. Place the washers over the screws from the seat cushion. Finger tighten each nut onto the screws from the seat cushion. If it's difficult to tighten, the nuts may be upside down. Using the smaller end of the wrench, tighten the nuts onto the screws. Loosen the triangular knob and remove from the main frame. Insert the seat post into the main frame. Find your desired height and then secure the knob back into place. Remove the screws, nuts, and washers from the backrest support. Line the backrest support with the holes in the seat post. Insert the screws through the holes in the backrest support. Place the washers onto the screws, then place the nuts on the screws and finger tighten. If it's difficult to tighten, the nuts may be upside down. Tighten the nuts with the included wrench. Place the two washers on two screws for the seat handles. Align the seat handles with the holes on the bottom of the backrest support. Place the screws into the holes and finger tighten. Tighten down the screws with the included larger hex key tool, the one with the screwdriver tool at the other end. Align the backrest against the backrest support. Insert the screws and finger tighten. Tighten down the screws with the included larger hex key tool. Remove the screws from the handlebar, then place them to the side for now. Feed the handlebar posts into the slots on the top of the main frame. Place the screws into the holes and finger tighten. 
Tighten down the screws with the included small hex key tool. Remove the screws from the back of the control panel. Starting with the largest connector, feed each of the three wires and screw the pedal bolt onto the crank arm with the other hand in a standard clockwise motion. This is done with the larger end of the included wrench. Finish tightening with the wrench. Connect the left pedal to the left crank arm. Hold the left pedal with one hand and screw the pedal bolt onto the crank arm with the other hand in a non-standard counterclockwise motion. Finish tightening with the included wrench. Making sure the L is facing upward on the left pedal strap, attach the end of the strap with the four holes to the outside of the pedal and the end with three holes to the inside of the pedal. Now just like on the left side, make sure the R is facing upward on the right pedal strap, then attach the end of the strap with the four holes to the outside of the pedal, and the end with three holes to the inside of the pedal. Open the battery compartment door on the back of the Slim Cycle control panel. Install the included two AA batteries according to the correct polarity. Replace the battery compartment door. Thank you for watching and enjoy your brand new Slim Cycle.